This video is made possible by PCBWay. PCBWay now offers rapid prototyping manufacturing. They can CNC parts for you, offer sheet metal fabrication, 3D print parts using FDM, SLA and SLS, and injection mold over 100 different materials. Learn more about their manufacturing capabilities in the link below. Welcome back. It's been a while since I did one of these, so I thought let's do another post bag. And let's dive right in. The first one, it says connector. These are some 19 pin, I believe, female headers. Yes, these are some 19 pin double row headers. And I bought these for a specific project. You might have seen this before, which is my ESP and TFT combiner board. I made this for a free touch deck and my idea was, or still is, that you can mount the ESP and still have one row of headers for, well, prototyping. They go in like this, then your ESP can plug in there and you still have one row of headers for breadboard wires. Next one, it says integrated circuits. How exciting. See, I keep getting those stickers on my mail. Don't know if people in other countries also get these. Goods not fulfilling the conditions laid down in articles 28 and 29 of the Treaty of the Functioning of the European Union. That kind of suggests that the European Union is functioning. Hmm. All right, so this is 10 pieces of one meter, not integrated circuits, but this, I have actually no idea how to call this, this rainbow wire. You have all sorts of colors. So what I do when I start prototyping and I need a small wire, small length of wire, which has a small enough gauge to fit through a prototype board. I just cut off one of these. And what happens is that I end up with a lot of these half wires, which can be useful if, for example, one end is going to a prototype board and the other is just this connector. But when I need one with a connector on both ends, I always grab these and get really frustrated. So I bought, well, apparently I bought one meter of this wire and hopefully I can teach myself not to cut up hookup wires anymore or breadboard wires and just use these. Next one, no description. Oh, you're welcome. These are some M2.5 hexagonal screws, and I believe they're four millimeters long. Oh yeah, it says on the back 2.5 by four, and these are 50 pieces. And these are because I like to make my circuit boards with a 2.5 millimeter mounting hole and I was running out of 2.5 millimeter screws, so I ordered a few. Next, maybe we can peel this back and see what's underneath. Connectors. All oh, right, yeah, they're the same principle I showed earlier with the TFT or the ESP32 and TFT combiner to not permanently solder your well screen and your ESP to the board. The idea is you can use headers, um, but I also didn't have those headers. And these are 14 pin, I believe, and these are four. So that's those, and these are 14 pins. So let's try it out. That would go there, and then the four pin one would go there. It makes everything have a bit of a higher profile, but the advantage is you can 
take it apart again if you don't like it. Next up, it says earphone accessories. Hongbai. No idea what that means. That's a bag within a bag and I'm holding it upside down because on this one there's still my address. Well, kinda. These are some TRS, tip ring sleeve to RCA cables, two of them. And, oh this is weird. So these are obviously red and white, but the inside is the brown. Not that it matters, but it's kind of strange to see brown there. Um, female, by the way. So it's male TRS to female RCA. And a fun fact, RCA, that stands for Radio Corporation of America. And that company hasn't existed for the past 35 years, but their legacy lives on because they were the first ones to use these connectors and called them RCA connectors. So that's why we still call them RCA connectors. These are going to be used to replace a socket on a speaker. Or actually I should say an amplifier. There's a socket in there and one of the RCA mill connectors broke off in there. And I can't find a replacement socket. So my idea is to just remove the socket completely, cut off this end, or maybe somewhere over here, and solder these directly to the PCB. Next one, no description. And these are also some hexagonal screws. Are they hexagonal? Yes. Also M2.5, but in this case they are 8 millimeters. And I ordered both 4 millimeters and 8 millimeters just because if I need some more strength in the connection between the PCB and the housing, and there is room, I can use longer screws. And the last one for today. Again, no description. And as I said, there's probably a description underneath there. But, oh wait, maybe you can see that. Again, connectors. And these are 19 pin, 10 pieces. And again, these are bought with this in mind. And the idea is now that Let's say you do want to mount your ESP to the board, but still want a row of female headers next to it. You can do that by just soldering the ESP to the board directly, and then you have one extra row of these female headers. And this is today's pause back. Thank you so much for watching. A lot of connectors or should I say headers well, this is a type of connector well not a connector not a connector used to connect two things but not a connector again thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time bye bye